Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan, and a few weeks or a few months ago, I would have told you this wasn't even possible, but it has happened, it is real. We have Super Game Boy support on the SD2S NES. I'm running the original version of SD2S NES on my Super Nintendo. This is not the Pro, but it works on both versions. And as you can see, Super Mario Land on the SD2S NES running through Super Game Boy 2. And this is quite a technical feat because it means that the SD to SNES is emulating properly the function of running Game Boy games through the Super Game Boy 2, which is essentially an entire Game Boy housed inside a Super Nintendo cartridge shell. And the Super Game Boy 2 is the superior version compared to the Super Game Boy because this one has the accurate clock cycles that correlate to the original Game Boy the way it was designed. So if you were using the original Super Game Boy for about every 10 minutes you played, it would run one second ahead, give or take. Now, how is any of this possible? Well, there's a genius who sent this file to Smoke Monster. He's not revealed who it is, but Smoke Monster got this update and it works with the version 1.10.3 firmware update that was officially released by Crix, the designer of the SD to SNES. So if you want to set this up on your own system, I'm going to show you how to do it. A brief tutorial, if you will, so that you can add the Super Game Boy functionality to your own system. First of all, go to the official SD to SNES.de blog and make sure that you have firmware version 1.10.3 because that's what you're going to need for Super Game Boy. You can download it at the website. There's the link. Just click on it, extract it to your desktop, and once you have that on your desktop, you should have a folder that says SD to SNES. This is the folder that you will need to install the latest firmware and to support the Super Game Boy 2 functionality. So prepare an SD card, format it in FAT32. I'm sure you all know how to do that. And then you'll put this SD to SNES folder on your SD card, but you're not done there. You also need the Smoke Monster Super Game Boy support pack, which he helpfully linked to on the YouTube video about this new Super Game Boy 2 support. So click on this. Again, you're going to extract this file on your desktop and what's inside will be the files that you need to update in the firmware SD to SNES folder. You're just going to replace the files that are in Smoke Monsters support pack with the files that are already there. And I'll show you that. But just in case you're not watching this video while you're doing this or you've forgotten because you watched it earlier and you're doing it later, he included a helpful readme file in the folder so that you can follow along. And as he notes in the file, this is not feature complete. Some things may be incompatible, but I think you would expect that with something as experimental as this. So don't expect 100% compatibility, but do follow these directions to make sure that you get it implemented properly if you want to play Super Game Boy 2 Super Nintendo on your SD to SNES. You could probably do Super Game Boy as well, but why would you do that if you can get clock cycle accurate Game Boy support. So these are the files you need. They're all in the support pack. Just select them all and drag and drop them to your SD card. That's it. You need those files that will unlock the support. Just drag, hit replace all or apply to all or whatever you have, whether it's Mac or PC. You're almost done. There's still more to do here you're not quite ready to put the SD card in your SD to SNES. It's going to work after you get the two boot files that you need. Now these, I can't show you where to download them. That's why he says, obtain a copy. And the one that's really critical here is the one I'm highlighting. You're going to need the Super Game Boy 2 Super Famicom cart that has the instructions for the Super Game Boy 2. Once you have that, you're going to rename it sgb2 underscore SNES dot bin, drop it in the SD to SNES folder on your SD card 
along with the other one. And then you should have all of these files on your SD card. And then you are ready for Super Game Boy 2 on your SD to SNES or SD to SNES Pro. But once you boot it up with the card in there, make sure that you go to system information and check to see that everything has installed itself properly. Version 1.10.3 underscore SGB. Once you see that, then you know that .gb files will show up on your SD to SNES and will boot up like Super Nintendo and Super Famicom games do. And this video proves that it works, so give it a try for yourself. I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan, and as always, thank you for watching.